Hey, welcome, welcome, welcome. If this is your first time here, my name is Anna. I am the creator of Gemstorm Relevation. And in this channel, I like to talk about all things chakra, reikis, crystals, and a lot about the moon. And that's what we're here to talk about today. We have a new moon in Aquarius coming up on February 11th. And of course, depending on your location, it is going to depend on the time. Um, but this is a really great moon to get to know and to learn more about. So all of the details are in my blog. So if you want to check it out, go to gemstormrelevation.com and you can check out the blog. I'll just quickly go through some of the major points that you need to know and also um, let you know some things that, that you can do to help you through this energy. So we are entering the Aquarius age and right now we are in the Aquarius moon as well. So this is just, it's just such a beautiful energy for this moon. So there continues to be a lot of planetary action happening. So there's lots of alignments, squares, retrogrades. And in fact, we've got six planets in the sign of Aquarius alone, meaning it's, you need to get ready to be bombarded by the traits of Aquarius. And luckily Aquarius is a pretty great sign. There's a lot of really great energy that's involved with it. So it's a good, energy to really get yourself into. So as a collective, we are on the rise, we are awakening, but this is kind of like the fork in the road. Are we going to choose to be more on the positive aspect or are we going to choose to be maybe on the more negative aspect? So we want to try to make sure that we're keeping our vib vibrations high because really what's happening is we are all transferring into this new energy of 5D. So this 5G energy, 5D energy just brings different um, consciousness to us. And if we're willing to accept that, then that can change a lot for us. And we want to make sure that we're keeping our frequency high so that we can get on board to this new consciousness that's coming up. So this is a great time to set your intentions for kind of what you see in the future for the collective as a whole and what you would like to see and what, what kind of changes you can make to um, be the change that you want to see in the world as well. So as always, I discuss what the energy of a new moon is and what the focus should be just so that you can be aware of what it is that you can do to help yourself through this energy. So the new moon is always a time for manifestation. This is where we are planting the seeds. We're letting these seeds grow. We're letting all of these uh, intentions and actions and things guide and lead us. So it's a great time to reevaluate how we've done over the last lunar cycle and what we can do moving forward. Maybe we need to change the plan a little bit. Maybe our wishes or manifestations have evolved and now it's time to up level even our manifestations or maybe it's time to just take, take a step back and see what's working, what's not working and what we can do differently. So the new moon can be a challenge for some people because it is it is reminding of a very dark and long night, but it's in that darkness that we can see the light. So we need to be comfortable with it. And it's just like the shadow sides of ourselves. There's always this darkness that's within us as well, but as long as we can accept it, acknowledge it and use it as a tool instead of being fearful of it and trying to shut it down, then it can help us even further. So what should the focus be during a new moon? So again, your manifestation. This is what you want to see come into your life. This is where you're setting it out into the universe, what it is that you want to manifest. And the universe can then in turn show you signs and directions and how to get there. Uh, you can of course plan your own actions. I highly recommend it, but just be willing to accept the possibility that things may not work out exactly the way that you plan them to, but that's just because there's something that hasn't that hasn't happened yet the way that it needs to happen or maybe you haven't met the person that you need to meet or maybe just some event just hasn't happened yet that's going to help you get into that next level so about three to five days leading up to the new moon is considered the balsamic moon phase or the waning crescent moon however you want to look at that and this is a really good time um, to just release heal, surrender, let things go that have been weighing on your mind that doesn't need to be there anymore. It's a great time of healing, forgiveness, and uh, just really going inward. 
so that you can get clear on what it is that you want and what it is that you want to manifest because a lot of times our thoughts and feelings aren't in alignment and we get caught up in all of the things that we don't want but the thing is is that the universe doesn't really understand that they don't understand the word don't they just keep hearing what it is that you're repeating yourself right they just hear what it is that you continuously say so if you're continuously thinking about the things that you don't want you're in fact going to manifest more of it into your life so if you go over to the blog, you'll see that there's this whole protocol for you to do um, that will help you journal and get to where like to where it is that you're making your manifestations from a heart centered space and your thoughts and feelings can be in alignment about the things that you're asking the universe for so there's a whole protocol on how to do that so i recommend you go check that out um but the new moon in aquarius energy specifically is going to be bringing a lot a lot a lot a lot um so the new moon in aquarius is a great time of change and a reminder of a time not so long ago so this time that we're in right now is actually the seeds that have been planted a long time ago so we're entering an era and an age that is very similar to the time of uh, the 60s and we're getting back into more community minded um, just more giving and being more for our fellow humanitarians and not so selfish anymore. We're starting to open up and waken up to the, the ability to help others and we're all getting this deep calling to do that. And this is the Aquarius energy that's coming in. So like the energy that was alive back then was an up level in the collective consciousness and that's exactly where we're at again so the positive traits of the Aquarius that we want to try to submerge ourselves into is progressive independent free-spirited humanitarian altruistic intelligent unique eccentric assertive sociable idealistic and inventive you're going to see a lot of people starting to stand up more and more for what they believe in. And we're going to see the construct of systems, old systems that are no longer working. We're going to see those start to break down. And it's not something to fear. It's something to celebrate. Just be ready and willing to do what it is that you need to do to make sure that your community, your collective consciousness is where it needs to be. And again, just manifesting that change that you desire to see in the world uh so the the new moon in aquarius ritual i have that listed on the website as well i'm just going to talk about some of the journaling points there so that if you do go over there and check it out then you kind of know where i'm coming from so here because we are really talking about releasing and letting things go there's a lot of questions that are in the journal that is going to ask you to dig deep into that and i ask that you be as honest with yourself as you can through this journaling process because it's only going to benefit you the most if you can get deep and personal with yourself and to be completely honest with yourself about what's going on for you. So a lot of it is about releasing and letting go of the past. What are some events that occupy space in your mind that is not necessarily needed anymore? Like what kind of space can you free in yourself so that you can open up space for those manifestations to come in? Because the thing is, if you're full of fear and your body is occupied with all of this stuff from the past, then there's really no space for your manifestations to come in. We need to be willing to release and let go of a lot of things. And with all of the traits that are coming in with the Aquarius energy, it's really asking you to be reflective of yourself and to be gentle with yourself too, but to be honest, right? Like, are you giving yourself the space to be your complete, authentic and unique self? Are you able to detach yourself from certain emotions and feelings that only bring up events from the past um, can I let go of what the social norms are can I think outside of the box and not be afraid um, am I willing to be a part of the bigger picture or would I rather just take care of myself and not worry about what's going to happen in the future and it's okay no matter what you answer because that's your truth right so head on over to the blog check it out especially the ritual if you want to get the most out of this new moon and you want to start manifesting the things that you desire into your life I highly recommend you check out the protocols that I have listed there for you and if you keep up with it because I do this all the time I'm here twice a month at a minimum 
Gemini mom for your new moon and your full moon information. So if you keep up with this for a few months, you'll start to see changes. You'll start to notice signs. You'll start to notice things happening that are helping you get to where it is that you want to go. So give it a try and let me know. Make sure you hit like and subscribe to my channel so that you get future updates on anything that I post. And if you go over to the website, you can sign up for my uh, email list. And I also send out information when new posts are up and videos. So make sure you head on over and do those things. All the links are gonna be in the comments below.